Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 as Leon. Um, let's continue our game. I was just about to use the cord on here because it says something about it being broken and, um... Yeah, the cord is cut. Yay! Oh, it looked like there were two there. Oh well. It looks an awful lot of cord for one. Yes, yeah, so it's round there. Oh no, that's the place with the zombies, isn't it? Well, this whole place is the place with the zombies, but the ones with the loads of zombies and the female one down the end, and we know that the female one is the fast ones and stuff. The things and stuff thrown in. I've just got a feeling that zombies are going to break through those boards because they all stuck their arms through so that kind of makes me wonder how stable those boards are crap okay I don't know why it gives me the option if, if I want to discard it or not of course I do why would I not do I get something if I don't discard anything whoa <laughs> Whoa, actually. <laughs> Go! <would you> <laughs> At least now I've got room to shoot the rest of them. <laughs> I hope I'm actually hitting them. God, hit! <laughs> Why are there so many zombies here? Okay, there's a pool of blood. So nothing even here. Oh, okay. No, because I remember tell it, someone telling me about film and about how it's useless. So I'm not going to pick it up. Whoa! Okay, I have to admit, that actually scared me. Stupid thing. I'm paranoid that <laughs> I keep getting on caution. Oh, there's something's gonna happen here. Oh, look, there's herb. Cool. Hey, I remember this room. This is where the guy died. Or was dying, at least. Where'd he go? I think he was faking, because I don't know if he can get up that fast to unlock the door behind him. Ah. Well, um, yeah. Sorry your party sucked so much, Leon. Hey, that guy's dead. And it doesn't look like he's got a head. That rhymed. Hee hee hee. Hey, there's that guy. And there's a thing over there. Whoa. The 
first time I've actually seen someone transformed into a zombie. Okay, we got a red key. Shape of a heart. What would that unlock? A door that's way over there. Luckily we're near a save room though, so it doesn't really matter that much. That means we've got one more key left to get. But then how do we get up there? Hmm, well, this has already been to that area. Oh, oh well, there's the stairs there and they lead down there. It says already. Oh, okay, yeah, I know where that area is. That's the library place thing we did the puzzle in. Oh, yeah, I remember because we fell through that thing. Well, I missed a room up there then, didn't I? Hmm. I'll go have a look at that later. Uh, first, I'm going to go to a save room. I think I've checked this place enough already, so I'll go. Let me just check over here where he died. Can I inspect him at all? No, he's just going to twitch a lot. He can do that if he wants. It's totally up to him. Yay! We're geniuses. We can unlock a door. You know, th there better not be just be suddenly a walk in here and then there are a ton of zombies in here because that would be so unfair. Hmm. I guess I can put that back. I'm not going to need that much health, I don't think. I'll save it as well. And, um... Um... Yeah. I'm going to keep the crank with me. I'm not sure when I need to use it. What is that? Do I need that at all? No? Okay then. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back out there and save it. And keep the crank with me. Because um, with the valve, you kind of like know if you need to use it or not. Because in the in the last game, you needed tended to use it a lot with water, as so far I've seen in this game, you did as well, or places that have water in them. What am I doing? And that was a tip that I got from another Resident Evil player, actually, who watched one of my videos. Sorry, I forget your name, but, um, yeah, he told me. He told me, alright. Unfortunately, he didn't list any specific parts of this where I'd need it. I mean, I'm, I guess it's alright on your part, because I am supposed to be playing this blind, but, you know, it would help if I knew some things about the game, which I do, you know because I played the first one, but things that I didn't get from the first game. You know what, I'm running out of time, so next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 2... You see that room over there that's flashing red? We're gonna go there, yeah. I will see you next time.